Kevin Michael Jackson Jr. remains behind bars today. Superior Court Judge Art Barcena sentenced Jackson to 12 years for vehicular homicide and a concurrent six years for two counts of driving under the influence with injuries. The former sailor was arrested in December of 2006 when he struck Ramon Oberiano from behind with his car and injured other bikers he was with. While officials say he was under the influence of alcohol at the time, the court today heard impact statements from both sides, resulting in Jackson being credited for three years of time already served which brings his sentence to nine years at the Department of Corrections, a sentence Chief Prosecutor Phil Tidinko did not fully agree with. I'm a, a bit disappointed with that sentence because the range was from 5 to 20. I would have liked to have to seen it higher. A higher time period, but in actuality, Jackson only has seven years remaining in his sentence as he has spent the last two in prison while going in and out of the courtroom. Stephanie Tyron, who was part of the group of bikers, recalls the day Ray's body flew into the air after being struck and then falling on her. In court, she looked Jackson in the eye and said she hopes he learned his lesson. Conduct himself like a man when he comes out. That's it. Just not feel like he has to make up for time served. Do you agree with the sentence? I think so. Jackson's mother, Cliftonia Ketchup, declined an interview, but in the courtroom explained that her son was a good kid and that he was going through a hard time in his life before the accident. But Tadinko says it was more than just an accident. This was a drunk driver who, who took away a husband, a wife, a father, and, and scarred, psychologically and physically scarred, some other bicyclists. Uh, you know, it was broad daylight when he colli fatally collided with them when he, while he was drunk. The court also ordered that Jackson pay $3,000 in fines and perform 200 hours of community service. Meanwhile, Jackson's only words in the hearing was an apology to the Oberiano family and that he plans to help support the family the day he gets out. Every Christmas, they will always, always be affected uh, by this uh, tragic case in which a drunk driver killed their, their father, their husband, their brother, their cousin, their nephew. Nick Delgado, PNC News.